Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Golden Reviewer comparison video. Today we have the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra with Exynos 2100 and Xiaomi Mi 11 with Snapdragon 888 and the Huawei Mate 40 Pro with Kirin 9000. And today we are going to run the 3D Mark stress test to see how they fare during heavy load. Now you can see all the devices are cool, the battery temperature are uh, less than 30 degrees and they are all in airplane mode. I've tuned the brightness to about the same level to my naked eye and let's start the test. I'll fast forward here because there is really nothing much to see. And something interesting happens after about 15 minutes. The Snapdragon 888 is overheating. We see that the battery temperature already reached 50 degrees. And I'm forced out of the test. I think this is really very, very bad for Xiaomi. Apparently, their thermal design is not good enough to dissipate the extreme amount of heat generated by the Snapdragon 888. And not being able to finish one round of uh, 3D Mark stress test is just a shame. But anyway, the other two devices are still going, so let's uh, continue the test. Okay, now the test is finished. Uh, let's take a look at the results. Exynos 2100 here, we see some throttling and uh, a performance drop. I think it's not too bad. Notice that the lowest loop score is around the 3600, which if you remember is just the performance of the Snapdragon 865 without any throttling. On the right, the Huawei Mate 40 Pro has a much more severe uh, throttling. The performance dropped to only 47% and is uh, about 2800 after throttle might be because uh, I didn't turn on the performance mode on this device. So maybe I'll try to turn on the performance mode later. Then for battery, uh, here is the S21 Ultra Exynos. Uh, it dropped about 10% of battery and the temperature rose from 30 to 45. Then for the Huawei, because it's throttled so much, the performance dropped a lot. The power consumption is not that high. It only dropped a 6% of battery, which is kind of uh, cool, but also ex expected. And the temperature rise is also very minimum, only uh, from 29 to 35. But I think all this is due to the extreme throttling we have without performance mode on. And lastly, we still have the Xiaomi Mi 11 on the left, which was not able to finish the stress test at all. So I think it's a good idea to actually repeat this test with uh, some tweaks so that we can see more useful information from the result. And here we have it again. It's the same three devices, but this time I turned down my aircon temperature to a lower setting. I also put them on a metal table instead of a wooden one. So supposedly the heat dissipation should be better. I've also turned down the performance mode on the Huawei Mate 40 Pro. Hopefully we will give better results this time. Okay, and now let's start the second test. Apparently our plan worked this time. All three devices were able to finish the test. And let's take a look at the result. Performance wise, the Huawei Mate 40 Pro indeed improved a lot from the last test because of the performance mode. S21 Ultra is still the same. The behavior is almost the same uh, as last test, except that it could maintain a higher performance for a bit longer, I think because of the lower temperature. And for the Xiaomi Mi 11, uh, the sustained performance was also very good. Then if we look at the power consumption and the temperature change, uh, we see that the Xiaomi still consumes the most power 
at uh, 15% of battery and the temperature is also highest at the end of the test at uh, 47 degrees. The uh, S21 Ultra uh, is almost the same as last time except it used a bit more battery at 12%. Uh, I think that's because uh, the temperature is lower. It uh, could maintain a higher performance for a little bit longer. For the Huawei Mate 40 Pro, we see that the uh, temperature is the lowest of all and uh, it didn't use that much battery at all. At 14% of battery consumption, um, but you also need to note that the Huawei Mate 40 Pro has the smallest battery capacity, right? So I think overall in this test, the Huawei Mate 40 Pro with Kirin 9000 is the best for performer. And then the, for Xiaomi Mi 11 and the S21 Ultra, they are both decent. They have their own problems. So the, for the Xiaomi, the performance is really good, but the temperature is just out of control. And for the S21 Ultra, uh, we see a healthy improvement from last year's uh, Exynos. Overall performance and the efficiency still seems to be lower than that of the competitors. Okay guys, so that's all for today's 3D Mark stress test comparison. If you like this content, please give me a thumb up and share my video to your friends. And please remember to subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss my future videos. See you next time.